Hey, look, grab a session with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. We disagree, move on, but we can still stand strong. Like I say, I don't feel like I'm bigger or better. You feel me? We can get through anything, any weather, <laughs> if we stick together. But check it out, though, right? I'm tapping in because... So shout out Jeremy Heck. Uh, I believe I'm pronouncing his last name right. You feel me? Uh, but shout out to uh, Jeremy. He brought up this information as far as Wayne and Drake. So allegedly, um, Drake wrote single or a reference track for single for Lil Wayne. You get what I'm saying? Um, what's, what's interesting about this though, like not even trying to play devil's advocate or anything like that because I am a Wayne head. Everybody know me. If you've been following me, you already know that I love Wayne. Been rocking Wayne. I feel like all his albums is like, is, uh, wherever I was going through in my life, you feel me? Like that's like the, the, uh, what do you want to call it? Like the documentary of my life. Not so much the documentary, but that explains like, you feel wherever I had going on during that time, it was cracking. But they say that Wayne, I mean, excuse me, they said that Drake had a reference track for Wayne. It wasn't AI. Well, allegedly, I think Jeremy said that this is, you know, this is out there because he put proof. Um, this is official because he put proof that he gave him writer credits on there. If you go on Wikipedia or whatever, you see that. That's fine and dandy, but... What's not shocking to me is if anybody been following Wayne, like I've been following Wayne, he said that on Nino Brown uh, documentary on YouTube. For some odd reason, it's been taken down. Like I've been trying to find the clips like he said that and I can't find it. Real talk, but if anybody was watching that Nino Brown, like he had a two-part documentary. He was talking about that. I can't fill my face with jewels, like all that. But and he was showing you, he was making the uh the no ceilings mixtape you get what i'm saying like he was showing that you feel me like he was letting us know what was going on and he said that he said bro we send references uh, reference tracks back and forth you get what i'm saying sometimes we might be too busy or whatever and he'd be like hey you know that's like a hook or whatever the case may be bam you can use that or can you build on this i'm gonna send you something can you build on this can you build on that you get what i'm saying um but with that being said, right, because I guess it's always been aimed at Drake that you don't write your, you feel me, you don't write your bars, right? Which is, is crazy to me because he write for other people. Like I said, I was shocked to not so much rap. Well, I think, no, I think he wrote for people in rapping too, but the Alicia Keys song, right? When the unthinkable, now when I go back and listen to them background vocals, you can hear him in that, right? But just to go back on the, on the rapping part, so just saying like, hey, Drake got writers and all that. I never really cared about that. I'm going to keep it all the way a buck. Like, that really didn't matter. You feel me? But I guess other people like, now nah, you can't call yourself the number one MC if you have writers. Okay. Um... And Jeremy pointed out something too, dealing with Elliot Wilson and uh, DJ Head. Shout out DJ Head, you feel me? Young legend in the city from Carson. Shout out DJ Head, right? Homegrown Radio and uh, Chuck Dizzle. But, you know, they was conversing and I think he said that that's when he switched his energy. When uh, the Quinn Miller situation came out in 2015, I believe. It came out in 2015 and instead of him saying, I'm talking about Drake. He, instead of him saying like he's the number one rapper, right, <clears throat> or he's the best MC, he just was like, hey, check this out. Well, I'm the number one artist. You feel me? He kind of switched his momentum. Rightfully so. And I think that was a dope observation. You feel me? And he said the same thing. And I missed the observation myself. And that's dope that Jeremy even brought that up. But to go back on the Lil Wayne situation, right? Even if that track wasn't an AI reference and it was legit, it still doesn't lose no cool points for me as far as Wayne in my eyes, right? He can still be that number one MC because this is the thing, right? For one, like I said, in 2009, I heard it. I never forget. It was Halloween 
2009 when No Ceilings dropped. And I, I remember watching, I think like two days later, you feel me? Free Lil Yacht, you feel me? My uh, my big homie, aka Who Kid. And that's who Kendrick mentioned. To my boy Who Kid for free and nothing coming free on the, um, the uh, you ain't even know a remix. But anyways, that's irrelevant. Not irrelevant, but let's get back to the story. Shout out my big homie, free my big homie. Hope he's seeing this. But check it out though. With with him with him doing that as far as um Drake doing that for Wayne, it's not far fetched. Cause like I said, he already mentioned you even see it on She Will. Like when they was talking when he was recording She Will, right? Like, hey, how uh Wayne sent his verse right to Drake and he was like hey man if you could ask him I don't know what the hell I'm talking about on there whoa, whoa, can you put a hook so they've been doing that with, with you know with one another it don't bother me one thing about Wayne right he birthed a whole new generation I don't care what nobody say bro he birthed the whole new generation so you can't even I, and I said this multiple times so that doesn't compare to Drake in a sense of you can't even like, hey, you can say what you want to say. Okay, nah, bro, but he got writers. Okay, that's cool. But as far as impact and influence, you can't you can't discredit that. You can discredit the writers. Okay, that's cool. Bam. Or hey, he don't write all this stuff, which is Wayne have wrote for other people too. But at the same time, bro, Wayne have they both crossed over, but Wayne been crossed over. He got a rock album. I highly doubt that Wayne did that whole rock album by his How to Love. He admitted that somebody wrote How to Love for him. He didn't write that. Now, if it was like a, a like if it was a Millie verse, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it Milwaukee. If it was a Millie verse and Drake did that, I would be like, ooh, nah, Wayne. Not a Millie verse, but single, right? If we going off single, that whole song is like a hook. If that makes sense, bro, that whole song is like a hook. It's like a chorus. If you really just go back and like it's a melody, so like you harmonizing you, that ain't really like a, that's not hip. I'm not gonna say that's not hip hop. I know y'all about to get, what I'm saying is that's like a singer. Like you trying something new, just like T-Pain, you're trying something new. That's not, that's that wasn't at that time, wasn't Wayne like strong. Like he's trying something. Hey bro, I got something for this. Say it like this, do it like this. Hey, you should do it like, like, it's not no verse. Now, if he wrote a verse for Wayne, where I'm talking about where Wayne is gassing and spitting, then hey. But like I said, I don't want to play devil's advocate. I don't want to, you get what I'm saying? If people want to disqualify Wayne, I'll be in the best because Drake wrote for him. Hey, but at the same time, bro, they on the same team too. You got to remember, bro, within your camp, that's cool. See, a lot of people, and I could be wrong, I don't know if this is true, but I remember hearing from Kendrick Lamar, right? Uh, what's it? A doobie said that face. Uh, that ADHD, right? Shout out, soul. You can have all my shine. I give you the light. Hey, as you see, shrooms, blow, drove, hoes, whatever you like. Like, real talk, I'm pretty sure that. I don't know. It's just speculation that probably he absolutely told Kendrick to do that, right? And Kendrick probably was like, nah, you jump on it. You probably do it. You feel me? Like, meaning maybe Kendrick probably tried it and didn't like it. It's a project. What I'm saying is, hey, if it don't sound good, now nah, I don't want to do it. You get what I'm saying? Like, so that's what I mean as far as with them. Hey, we're in the same camp. We're going to reference each other. Especially with, like, like I said, single is hook. That whole song, I don't care. It's hooks. Bass. That's how I'm looking at the situation, right? But once again, when it comes to influence, bro, Wayne birthed a whole new generation. Nobody, I was trying to talk to my little brother, one of his homies the other day, and he was just talking about two. When I was like, nah, Tupac, Tupac didn't really so much birth a whole, like he's very influential and had an impact. People rock with him, but as far as like, no, Wayne from the tattoos, from the piercings, to whatever skinny jeans to to the auto like he took over T Pain like I'm just I'm keeping it a buck though like you feel me I know it's gonna make it seem like I'm biased because I'm a Wayne head I I understand that but bro stats are stacks call it what you want to call it bro you know what I'm saying like that don't discredit him for being I still in my eyes 
You get what I'm saying? And my, he's still the number one artist to me. Writers or not, because of what he did, the influence, bro. What he did. That's just, you feel me? That's just keeping it a buck, bro. That That's just keeping it a buck. Like, you feel me? What he did. So, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, you feel me? Y'all gotta let me know. Like, everybody trying to gas him about that. And it's just like, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Still dope, though. Real talk. It's still, it's still. You equal. Okay, we'll put it like this, right? If, if that is the case, even with, even with Drake, right? No, I got to take it back, bro. I'm going to stand on what I stand on. Like I say, I know a lot of people be mad. Like, bro, you be switching. It's not that I switch. Like I say, I'm righteous. You feel me? If you tell, if I'm arguing, if I'm arguing with you or we're debating about something, if you bring up some, if you bring up some, some points that I probably haven't checked out yet, or you feel me, you make it make sense, bro. I got to ride. Like, oh yeah. I'm not going to sit up here and just stand on like, you feel me? Like, like I'm not going to be subtle. Like, you feel me? Like, nah. We're not, we're not going to do that. Come on, bro. We got to keep it a buck. Another thing, too, before I, I get off this, if, and I'll go back and do what I got to do. Um, why do people keep bringing up um, the tour thing with Drake? With Kendrick Lamar and Drake. I see a lot of comments all the time when you bring up something. Oh, Drake put Kendrick on his first tour. Can y'all please tell When did Kendrick ever deny that? Or when did Kendrick ever say that that wasn't true? Why are we bringing this up? Why are we bringing this up? Like, that doesn't make no sense to me. What are you bringing this up for? Kendrick never once, he never once said that Drake didn't help him out, didn't look out for him, none of that. So why are we bringing this up? Why are we bring? that doesn't make no sense to me. It, it don't, I'm sorry. Just like on the hard part six, and I said it once again, Drake mentioned Millie Brown or whoever. So you going up, you talking about you mad at Kendrick for getting stuff off the internet allegedly because of they not like us, right? But obviously you paying attention, you paying attention to the internet too because you brought up stuff that Kendrick didn't even mention. You get what I'm saying? Like that, like bro, now you, everybody always arguing when I put something up. Oh, how you do that when he brought you on your tour? He 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 put you on your first tour or whatever the case may be. Which is that's not true. You feel me? Worldwide tour. I think they own game. I think that was they first like worldwide. Nipsey was on that one too, the LAX tour. But anyways, I'm not gonna say that uh Drake did give him, but somebody else got got me at this though, right? I'm gonna be all the way. Somebody checked me on this. Cause I I I never I'm backing Drake up on this. Excuse me, I'm backing Kendrick and both of them. But I was lost because I'm like, Kendrick never denied this. But at the same time, right, peep this. That was Kendrick's whole point, too. You came and got somebody. If you look at the interview, like Kendrick always say, you always try to find somebody. Oh, how can I be next to the person that's going to be hot or that's hot at the time? Yeah, I'm going to boost their momentum because of who I am. But at the same time, hey, I need to stand next to well, Big Sean say on the control, I can't say it verbatim, but I always talk about the people that's not hot and mess around to do a song with the hot. I don't know, man. But anyways, man, gravitation with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. We disagree. We can move on. Man, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, I like all the... Bro, get at me. You feel me? I don't take nothing personal, bro. We on the internet. We conversing. You feel me? We chopping it up. It's some stuff that I might not know. You can put me up on game. It's some information that might not be correct. You can put me up on game. I have no problem with it. Don't disrespect me because I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm going to talk to you as a man, a woman, and I want the same thing back. Vice versa. Likewise. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. Gravitational.